All right, everybody. So I wanted to put this together because this app could be really useful for some distance learning opportunities for your students, no matter what age, kindergarten through 12th grade, even college students could experiment with it. Uh, it's, it's got quite a range and it's free, which is really awesome. It is available for iPads. You can put it on iPhones. Uh, it's good for Chromebooks too. They have a um, website so you can, so it's, it's web-based as well. So it works on a whole array of devices. So I just wanted to walk you through it really quick. Something that you could, you could send out to your uh, students and their families to do if you are out of school. So the app itself is called Pixlr. And if you pull it up, it's going to look like this, kind of like a, a camera lens right there. So if I tap on that, it's going to open up. And that's what you see, like a landscape. So with whatever device you're using, you can take multiple photographs. I've been having my third graders take uh, portraits of one another. We talk about front view, side view, angle view, and then they combine it with background images. They create a double exposure photograph. And the, the range of work is, is pretty amazing. Uh, and then they've got different apps. And we talk about transparency and overlapping. Those are like the two main vocabulary words that we address. So when you use the app, if you already take your photographs, what you would do is you can hit this photos right here and your, your photos are going to pop up. And what I have my students do first is we look for a portrait. They look for one of their faces. So for example, here's this guy, yeah, right? So the colors are a little off uh, on the screen there. But once you get a photograph like this, there's a toolbox. We'll talk about that later. There's a brush tool, and what I have them experiment with is basically filters, trying out different filters. So basically all the filters you see here come from this one little icon there. So I encourage my students to play with it. This slider is going to come in really handy because all the way to the left, the filter disappears, and then all the way to the right is the filter in full strength. So I encourage them to take a few minutes to, to try different filters. We talk about uh, reversing the image. So you would be looking at like a, like a negative of yourself, something like that. And again, experimenting with what you can do. So I'm going to go back. And one of the other things that I, I talk about with my students too is using, uh, if you have light color hair, using a dark background uh, as a possibility if you want to see your hair. If you have darker hair, we have uh, white backdrops to take photographs against. So they have that option, and those are discussions that they have with their partners because they're working with uh, a partner. Let's say if I want to bring a little bit more of my skin tone in there. Once they have an image that they like, they're going to hit the, the checkbox right here. Then they're going to go into this toolbox and what they're looking for here is the double exposure tool so all they have to and there's even more that you can experiment with but if you click on double exposure it says tap to add photo I can tap to add photo and then they're looking for a background something that they they took that would be interesting to contrast against their portrait right so let's say I choose this guy right here now the first thing that they're going to notice is that it is not transparent and they cannot see their face and the image is too small. So just like any other kind of handheld device these days, I encourage them to, to make uh, the image bigger by opening their, their fingers. If they need to reduce it, they can reduce it. If they want to rotate it, put things on an angle, they could possibly do that. That is up to them and their partner. I always have them kind of go back and forth, even though they're creating portraits of each other, they're working together. And then once you do that, then you could play with the transparency. So you can see my face appearing right there. And the objective is to have both of those images show. If it's more background, that's okay. If it's more portrait, that's okay too. That's up to them. And then I encourage them to try out different filters. The different filters are going to have different opacity levels as well. So they can ex keep experimenting uh, with that. And we just had some really striking images that have come out of this project. So once they have an image that they like, then what they can do is hit check. If they want, there are more tools they can uh, draw, they can erase. 
Um, if they want to incorporate any of these other things, they can experiment with that as well. But basically, if I hit X up here, it goes away. Uh, once they have an image that they like, they hit done. And this is important because I can't print their images if they don't save it. So they would save the image there. Now it's saved to the camera roll. They would hit X. They would hit home. And then it would be the next person's turn to use the iPad. What I've also been encouraging them to do is once they, once they do that as a, as a team, hit the toolbox again or open up their, their photograph again and add another photograph on top. It could be uh, another portrait. So possibly I add my portrait in there. Kind of think about where that might go. And again, you could experiment with more transparency. So it's, it's a lot of fun um, to experiment with for the students. I found myself uh, really enjoying the experimentation with it as well. Uh, there's some key vocabulary that you could talk about with your students. So if you are looking for something for your, your students to experiment with over break, this app is available on multiple platforms. Um, and that's about it. So there you go. I wanted to share some of the third grade images that have been created just this year, a few weeks ago. So you can see how these students have combined uh, portraits of each other with various backgrounds found around my classroom, uh, and then experimenting with the levels of transparency, uh, the, the different filters that they can choose from. Now, they did portraits and, and backgrounds, but this app lends itself to a, a wide array of investigations. You could use landscape uh, imagery, you can use other works of art, uh, and it's just really endless the, the types of things that you can combine with Pixlr. So I highly encourage you and your students to check it out.